hi guys welcome back to my channel today we're going to be going from this to this if you want to do that please stay tuned Today we are going to be transforming these bath stools into saloon chairs and before you ask if you have ever asked for the price of a saloon chair you know that they were very very expensive and during the process of me doing this saloon I did not have that kind of money so bath stools were the ideal because they had the base that I wanted they could spin and they could go up and down so it was a win-win for me first thing I did was take all of that off and send it to the welder I sent it to the welder and yeah he was just explaining that during the process of extending the frame of the chair they like they messed up the fuse or something so it couldn't go up and down again so i went there to check it out myself and honestly i wasn't even very disappointed because the main thing for me was that it could spin because there was this or go and like engineer some sort of office chair so i'm happy that i went with this i forgot to cost like how much all of this cost me i got the chairs for forty thousand francs and i paid the world there about 22,000 or 23 i know that was under 25,000 to do these two frames for me i went back home and then i just took off this part because i forgot to tell the man to do it for me um for this next part underneath was looking very very ugly and i did not like it so what i did was i took a spray paint of chrome silver thank god i had it at home and i just pre-painted that it doesn't really match but it's definitely better than that black burnt thing that you saw before i'm a sucker for aesthetics even though nobody is seeing this on the part in my head i'll just be like the aesthetics the aesthetics anyway so for the extension we need a base for it to sit down i did discover that the original chair had a plywood base so i used a plywood as well even though the original chair had about eight millimeter of plywood i'm going to use a four millimeter and i'm going to attach it with zip ties you can use metal zip ties if you want more enforcement or whatnot but the fact that the weight on this is going to be going mostly downward there was really no need for me to do that after that i just added a cardboard the cardboard you saw before i obviously did wrong measurements i don't know why my measurements were off but when i did put it it did not quite fit but we're just going to work with it like that after attaching everything with a zip tie the next thing we're going to do is foam and i'm going to put foam all over because i do not want people to like sit down on the chairs and that bomb hurts or oh, this thing was very sharp by the way so it was very necessary to cover it up and what i'm going to do is i'm just going to wrap the foam around and then i'm going to sew it with a thread and needle i have clearly advanced in this video so i'm just showing you guys how the thing um went or looked like uh this is my junior brother rafa and the whole time the family was very supportive you know coming to spend time with me at the shop and watch me do all of these things uh in this video you can really just see how i fold everything and i cut it if you're planning to do something like this i will advise that when you get to this plot this part please zip tie it because when i was sewing the cover it kept on moving and at some point it just took a different shape altogether and i did not like that after you have sewed the armchairs and everything together you're going to have to glue the main event which is the foam that people are going to sit on and one thing i didn't do in this video is the correct foam the foam i bought here yeah, was three five there's another much more thicker one that is uh six thousand francs if i'm not mistaken and again like i said i was really trying to be on a budget and i did not just have the money at that point so this is what i use for this DIY. why i use my trusty durabond i also use that glue to just secure everything down together and after i dried for a bit i just put the foam down as you can see i made previous cutouts for the part that the arm is going to sit through and then i just taped and pinned everything down at the end with a staple gun i almost forgot the name of a staple gun but as you can see what i was going for is actually achieving its shape i was going for like those booklet chairs and really angular and structured i don't know why but that was really what i wanted during that time anyways here's just some pinterest inspo of what i wanted the chairs to look like as it's been very popular on pinterest and tiktok 
yes daisy and myself just trying to see if the vision is actually you know like expectation versus reality and again i want to just plug this fabric this thing costs like 1000 francs for a meter and it's doing the lord's work it is doing the lot's work it is durable it looks like it's velvet but it's not velvet it's resistant to dirt and you can just clean up everything like it really came in clutch um the method i did before did not work so for the next chair as you can see like if you look towards the right of this video the first chair is done so for the next chair what i did was i went and i took i sewed uh, a chair cover and then i just came and fitted it so what i'm doing in this video now is I am fitting the chair cover to the chair and the chair cover only went halfway because you had to actually sew in the sides and do one or two adjustments here and there but overall this method was way easier and even faster so yeah i'm just showing you guys how i closed the chair cover at the back what i did was i folded the excess in and then i pinned it into place and i'm going to go in with a thread a needle and try to do an invisible stitch i just realized that the whole time i've been sewing and hemming stuff that my invisible stitch was trash because it's not really reading invisible yet and somewhere along the line my mom was like i should get a professional to do this and if i'm honestly speaking i may get a professional in the future but at this moment this is what worked for me and the budget and i'm also just happy that it gave me a lot of time to just think and just be calm and just do this DIYs in peace so this is what the chair looks like as you can see um what i did was actually sewed about six stitches and then i pulled everything to tighten up the stitch i don't know why it's not showing in this video but as you can tell i was really like fast having fun quiet time and everything with this place and also i don't know if you like saw the change where we went from like the plank to the wallpaper already i will upload a video of like the whole process it's just very difficult to film as i barely have any time now but i really hope that you guys enjoyed these videos after i sewed everything that needed to be sewn down i went in and i took my staple gun and i cut it off again i cut off way little it doesn't show when you put it up but i just kept on saying like hey god i've cut off way little than i thought and this is the final vision of the chairs we've come a long way from bad stools and yes it does look a little bit higher but when you press it down it's actually going to go to the length that i want and this way it doesn't take anything from the chair but maybe even does add something i don't know maybe i'm delusional anyways this is what the chairs look like and that little vest thing the corner i also did i did so i'm going to be uploading videos of that but this is myself and i just sat down on the chair and it's honestly a vibe it's honestly a vibe please subscribe if you haven't already thank you for watching this video this is what it looks like in the salon for now there's a lot of stuff i have to add in which i will but you know the drill if you love this video please leave a comment down below thank you for watching i love you guys and i'll see you in my next video bye